and welcome back. This is Simone with LCAT Designs and this is another tutorial for our Cloud Peak mitts. And I'm showing you how we're doing the textured stitch that happens right in the row following where you're adding a bead. So I'm going to work up to the stitch and um, the stitch that I'm showing you is called Knit Yarn Over Knit. It's K-Y-O-K -K in your pattern. And basically what you're doing is all going to happen in one stitch. You're going to knit into that stitch, then yarn over, then knit into the same stitch again before you actually pull it off the needle. So as if you're knitting this stitch normally, you're going to put your needle into it and knit it, but leave it on the left needle. Now you're going to bring your needle over here, yarn over, and then put the tip of the right needle back into that same stitch and knit it again. Now you get to pull it off the needle as if you knit it. So as you can see, this makes three stitches happening out of one. I'm going to show you again. So I'm going to work over to the next place where we're doing that again. So it's the row after you added the bead. Again, you're going to knit the stitch, but leave it on the needle, yarn over, and then go back and knit that same stitch again. You should have three loops coming out of that one stitch. See, one, two, three. This is the knit, this is the yarn over, and this is the other knit stitch. I'm going to show you one more time. Oops. So right here, I'm going to do it again. So you're going to take your needle into the stitch, knit it, leave it on the left needle, yarn around or over the needle, so I put it over from front to back. Then you're going to take that right tip back into the stitch like you're going to knit it again. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're going to yarn around the needle for your knit stitch and then pull it off with all three loops on it. So you have a knit stitch, a yarn over and a knit stitch on it. That's going to give you three stitches coming out of one. And then of course in the next row you're going to decrease them back away and that's what makes those little butterfly shaped peak tips happening. Okay, I hope this was helpful. This is the textured stitch that we're using in our Cloud Peak pattern on the Cloud Peak mitts. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time.